right, was that about 15 minutes? Pretty close, right? You guys back? You guys here in a split second? It's... It's quiet in here. Okay, quiet. This would be a good test of how fast the internet speed is. So I don't hear anything with you guys yet. That means the internet's really slow. I guess we'll find out. You guys tell me how how quick it's going. We just had the internet put in the day before yesterday. So see what the speed is. It's supposed to be like a six megabyte upload second and 30 download, but download doesn't matter for this. This is all upload speed, right? And still 40 seconds. I don't see anybody. So hopefully that's not a bad sign of the internet being too slow. If that's the case, we'll just speed it up. But I'll tell you for sure, I'm not going to start showing you guys what's going on back here until I see some people or maybe a comment just to let me know that you're there. And this isn't all in vain. Hmm. So now we're a minute and 15 seconds in. It says we've got two people. So Ryan, how long? How long is it? Cody, what's up? How long have you guys been here? I've been here for a minute and 25 seconds. Have you been watching me walk around and talk to myself for that long and not been able to comment? I'm just wondering how fast the internet speed is or not. Hey, Krabby. Just going to do a quick peek here. Oh, just one second. Okay, that works. Fast. Sweet. Fast is good. I like fast. Hey, Lauren, how you doing? Carlos still here. Notification was a tiny bit delayed. All right. That works for me. As long as it, okay, so you guys want to take a quick peek? So this is the wall I framed, of course, and threw the electrical in today. Hey, ball and chain. And it's dark over here. Don't have the lights in yet, but got the lights patched in there. And then another light is going to be over here. Uh, another light there. And I put all this insulation in the ceiling today. Obviously, I ripped out the sheetrock first. And then I'm going to have a nice big ceiling fan right here to blow down onto a radiant heat panel that's going to sit right here. Not radiant heat panel, but an oil filled radiating heater. And then that's going to plug in over here. And I'm going to put the Ranko thermostat up here that will plug in here and we'll turn on this outlet that will also control the fan and the radiant heater. And we'll see how that goes. I mean, after I insulate it, it should be pretty sweet. So, yeah, this whole wall got insulated. I got the door. It's going to go right here. So obviously there's the garage door. And this is going to be the devising wall right here that blocks off the part of the garage where we're going to store stuff from this. Um, Ryan, I, I'm doing all this building. My my buddy Dan did come over and help me um, make sure I didn't wire this wrong today. But other than that, I'm building it all myself with guidance from myself, which is fun because it's my first time. I've done work like this before, but it's my first time doing it for myself. So, hey, Johnny. Thanks, man. And it, this was the existing post for the beam that's holding up the living room above us. Yeah, it's, it's been fun. It's been fun. I, like I said, I've, I've never actually done this type of work for myself. So it should be pretty sweet. It was fun. It was fun standing that wall up. The, these things were pressure fit, man. Let me tell you, that thing, like, my measure my studs must have been exact because that thing was like, I just tapped it in with the little baby sledge. And it was fun. You guys will see it on the blog. I'll, I'll make it look prettier on the vlog than this, and you'll see all the, the different steps all in one video. So that should be pretty nice from beginning to finish. I'm going to paint it. The funny thing is, here, you guys are going to get a sneak peek on the color of what the room is going to be. I had an apartment when I was younger that was, uh, I had painted the walls this color, basically. It's funny, I'm wearing the shirt today. And then these pants would kind of be the color of the floor. So I could stand in this room and I would disappear. <laughs> Thanks, Jason. Yeah, exactly. Like I like I knew I needed uh exactly Larry. Like I knew I needed 
you know, I wanted to plug there, I wanted to plug outside there, and I wanted to plug there, and then I was like, I should also have one over here in the incubator, and then plug here to get the uh, the cameras rolling, the security cameras. So, yeah. Uh, bullies and Bulldogs, what was that? Something about mailing address the same. Yeah, mailing address is the same. Um, yeah, I mean, are you, were you sending me a shirt? Is that right? Um, it is to code, actually. Yeah. I mean, you you don't have to have outlet like to code would be. You wouldn't have to have outlets. Every uh, yeah, you, know, you wouldn't have to have that many outlets for code. But by code, you do need to have outlets, a certain amount of outlets on each wall, spaced apart in any room like that. But yeah, no, there it's so there are extra outlets that you would you. Yes, it's code. <laughs> it's freaking to code, man. Went in there and tapped into the change the two twenty circuit to two one tens. 20 amp. I'm contemplating putting it on GFI. I don't know if that's good or not. I mean, I'm going to possibly put it all on GHI. GHI. <laughs> GHI. That's a ball Python joke now, I guess. GFI. I'm going to put it on GFI. So that this gives a little extra level of protection. But yeah, it's 320 amp circuits in there, which should be more than enough for what I need to do, I think. 320 amp circuits would be plenty just to run some radiant heat panels and a, some security cameras and yeah. Yeah, sleep is good, you're right. And I should probably go do that because I'm gonna do the same thing tomorrow. Just get up and tear it, go straight to Home Depot, pick up the drywall and get the rest of this installation in and then do it to it, make it happen. Probably get that door in tomorrow, hopefully. My goal for tomorrow is to be done. Now, obviously, the installation is going to run quick. Get all the walls rocked. Get all the walls mudded. Get taped and mudded. Get that door in. <laughs> I'd like to have the snakes in here by the weekend. I don't know that that's going to happen. It's a dream of mine. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how many ants I have to brush off my little boy there. <laughs> um. You know, I, I pretty much get the snakes that I want to. There's one, I, there's one snake, that dragon snake, but I don't know how well it does in captivity. I would love to have a dragon snake sometime, but I don't, I don't know. I don't know how they do. I need, I need to learn a little bit more about their care before I jump into something like that. But yeah, dragon snake would be awesome. Yeah, she, dude, you should have seen. <laughs> You should have seen the, the sheetrock that I, I tore all the sheetrock off the entire 13 by 19 foot ceiling, that whole wall, that whole wall. I had like 20 something bags, big construction bags full of sheetrock I ripped off the wall, took it all the way down. It was like, that was the worst part. That part just, <laughs> I'm going to enjoy putting the sheetrock off way more than I did turn it down. Even though the turn it down is pretty fast, it was like just a mess and the bags are heavy. Oh my gosh. But yeah. I'll share the whole process on the uh, the thing, the vlog, as soon as I vlog again. I haven't given up on vlogging. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Vlogging's given up on me. <laughs> no, that's not true. <laughs> oh my gosh. And with that question, I'm going to leave you guys here because that was a. Uh, that's going to be my laugh for the night. <laughs> I'm going inside. I'm going to take a shower. And uh, yeah, Jason, exactly. The worst part of the demo, that cleanup part. Yeah. I love tearing it out. That's fun as hell. Just rip stuff off and throw it all over the place. Watch it break. Yeah. But bag it, put it in the bags. Oh, yeah. All right, guys. You know, well, it was, it was a pleasure uh, hanging with you guys for a little bit here. And hope you guys enjoyed a little sneak peek of the snake room. And... Hopefully the next time you see it, it's pretty much done, right? That would be awesome. All right, you beautiful people have a beautiful night, and I will see you guys very soon.